You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big, period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. It's Jay. This battery about to die, I'll be back. What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to J Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. This video, like I said yesterday, I wanted to do a voiceover of me decorating the tree and my little sister because I just got some things that I wanted to confess and get off my chest and maybe get some advice from you guys. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for all of you guys' comments. We definitely are going to hit on three comments from yesterday's video, Vlogmas Day 11. So let's get into that really quickly. Um, first comment is going to come from Julia Sharp. It says, I watch this channel because you always keep it real and have some good conversations at J Bob's. Thank you so much. Again, I don't do nothing over here for clout. Nothing over here is fake. Nothing over here is practice. My reactions are real reactions. My videos are real videos. I appreciate you because real recognize real. Second comment is from Kiara Whiten. She says, my favorite part of the day is getting the notification of you answering my comment. Much love. Not many other YouTubers I watch reply or even like comments made me look forward to commenting especially since you're posting every day for vlogmas more reactions like this but would love to hear some of your story times too i definitely have a few story times that i want to tell you guys something that nobody knows and then something that some people know but i'm not sure if i did a story time on it but hey this is only day 12 we got 31 days in this month 
So definitely look forward to giving you story times. And last comment is from Brenda Shadley. Shadley or is it Shaley? <laughs> you said, I laugh every time you're sucking on that hookah, Jay. Oh my God. I don't know why, because it sounds like you're ripping off a bong. Like what in the world? And then you was like, da, da, da. Oh no, no. You both be very, very secure in your relationship and not be jelly bellies. I never heard that in my life. It will get ugly. My ex bugged and bugged me to do it. She must be talking about the threesome or the orgy. So her ex bugged her to do it. And then she said, um, because she knew that I have and she wanted it. And I said, fuck it. Fine. OMG. She was so fucking jealous. I flew my ass back home the next day I was dealing with her nonsense. She got over it fast. Okay. Yeah. I just feel like as soon as you start to see red flags in your relationship or even if you're talking to somebody i feel like you need to communicate and if that person is not willing to communicate then that needs to be a sign for you i ain't saying like just give up because i'm not a person that just gives up on anything but you matter and how you feel matter and if you say no then it's no and if someone keeps trying to pressure you especially in your relationship your partner keeps pressuring you to do something that you don't want to do like don't do it because nine times out of ten look she talking about it's her ex so they're not even together no more so it's kind of like she didn't even have to put herself through that again because she already said that she did it before but she didn't have to do that again just to please the other partner like some things just don't have to happen but anywho that's the end of that you guys um getting back to what the remainder of this video will be about and what i want to confess and just talk about um before i do get into this please make sure you are subscribed to my channel you guys please make sure you give this video a like a thumbs up same thing ain't no difference comment down below share this video let's get into it so what i wanted to communicate with you guys about um i know in some previous videos i briefly talked about me having a ex best friend meaning i used to have a best friend but she's no longer my best friend and we were literally best friends in high school and we stopped being friends after like my first semester in college so i'm not gonna lie she's been on my mind here and there i still remember her birthday and she recently like two years ago so i graduated in 20 2012 we stopped being friends like early 2013 but two years ago, she found herself commenting on certain things on my Instagram and was kind of sort of reaching out, but just like not reaching out like, hey, we should meet reaching out, but just like general conversation. So um, she now has two kids. And when back then, of course, she didn't have no kids, but she now has two kids. And it's crazy because when we used to be in high school, I used to say, I want to be your kid's godmother. So, of course, that's out the window now. But I found myself reaching out to her um, a few days ago and asked her to text me. And I actually invited her to have lunch with me some day out of the week. Of course, we have to put our schedules together because she work, I work. It's not a rush, though. But um, I don't hold no type of grudge. I just maybe want closure or maybe i want to maybe i want to rebuild our friendship because i really love that girl like i did any and everything for that girl she and her mom let me live with them for like the rest of my senior year because i wasn't staying with my dad and i moved out from staying with my uncle and that girl got her ass beat for me. Some girl tried to jump me. She jumped. She was the only person in the party that tried to help me fight. And I literally knew everyone in the room. And I really had a soft spot for her. So um, I am looking forward to sitting down and having lunch with her. And just seeing who she's grown to be. This woman she's grown to be. Especially now that she has kids. Because OMG. Like I knew she would have kids. But shit. She got kids. Um, her firstborn was a girl. Her second child was a, a, a little boy. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Because I like what do you think? Do you think I may be opening up some 
wounds that I don't want to open? Like, do you think it may be a good idea? Again, I don't have any bad feelings about it. Um, but I just want to, like, let her know how I felt at that time and what happened because I never really explained to her why I stopped being her friend. And I do feel like I'm the one that ended the friendship. At the same time, I feel like she wasn't really giving me any effort to keep the friendship. I just felt like I was the only one that was trying to keep the friendship. And, you know, when you go off to college, that's really when you learn yourself you figure out a lot of things about yourself and I just feel like with her going to a university and me going into community college you know our social life was very different but now that I'm older and I'm matured I'm able to see that you know I probably was being like a little spoiled brat and not considering her and a lot of things I wasn't considering but I definitely want to sit down with her. I would love to have her as my best friend one day. I'm not going to say soon, but one day. Um, because with all of that time that has went by, I've gone through a lot. Um, definitely have lost trust and learned how to not trust so fast. And just a lot of just life lessons that I've learned. So I am looking forward to sitting down with her. It's probably going to happen sometime after the new year. So definitely look forward to a updated video on how that sit down went um and yeah you guys i just wanted to share that because again someone out there may be able to relate um again everything doesn't have to end bad when you're ending things whether it's a friendship or relationship it don't have to end bad um you can be cordial and even though you're cordial don't mean you gotta be the bestest friends you know what i'm saying so even after this sit down even if it's like you know mm, I don't even really want you involved in my life like that. Like, we can be cordial. We can be cool. I don't know. Sometimes some things aren't always for you. Sometimes it can be for the other person because I have no idea how she felt when we stopped being friends. I know that I felt hurt. I felt betrayed. I felt lonely. And, um, yeah, but... That's just something I want to put out there, and I definitely appreciate you guys watching this video, hearing me out. Thank you so much for the comments that are to come. I can't wait to read the comments. Again, please make sure you are subscribed, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Have a great day, a blessed day, and I'm signing out. See you in this video. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm a different breed. Catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my ho. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes. You know the vibes. You know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch. Just take a bow like my name Rihanna. Now she buying seven rings like I'm Ariana. Yeah,